In the darkness we were waiting Without hope, without light Till from heaven you came running There was mercy in your eyes To fulfill the law and prophets To a virgin came the word From a throne of endless glory To a cradle in the Amen. Welcome to our session today of prayer and devotions. We are glad that you've been able to join us this morning. This whole week we've been committing our nation before God in prayer and just praying that God will cover us, God will bless this nation and praying prayers of spiritual warfare against any weapon formed against this nation. And today we are looking at Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 and we're going to read verse 11 and also verse 13 to 17. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 11 says, Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. And uh, verse 13 to 17 says, Put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in, the, in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can, dis, you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And even as you're praying for our nation, we are going to commit our nation in prayer in line with this word that as citizens of this land, as leaders of this land, we are going to take our stand in the times of evil. When the day of evil comes, we will take our stand. We'll be able to stand our ground, stand our ground against evils in this land, stand our ground against um, all forms of injustice, all forms of corruption, all forms of uh, crime, against all forms of terrorism, against all forms of greed, disunity, impunity, and hatred. We're also going to pray that the church will take its stand, that the church of Kenya will arise and shine and take its stand against all the evils in this in this, in this this land. We'll take its stand in prayer and stand in the gap for this nation. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, this morning we come before your presence, O oh Lord, to thank you so much, O oh God, for this blessed land that is Kenya, O oh God. 
thank you that this land belongs to you, O oh God, that you have given us as a people, O oh God. We commit Kenya before you, King of glory. We thank you that thus far, O oh God, you have been Ebenezer upon this nation that is Kenya, O oh God. You have blessed us, my Father. We have experienced seasons of great seasons of peace, O oh God, and prosperity, O oh God, in this land, King of glory. And we want to thank you, our Father, because you are the God of this nation, O oh God. You are the God of all creation. And thank you, my God, that you have created us to be a people that is called Kenya, O oh God, that you have be created us to be a nation, O oh God. And this moment we commit Kenya into your able hands and we declare that you are the God of this nation. You are the God of this land, O oh God. And Father, this moment, O oh God, we thank you for your word that says we we ought to take up our stand against the evils, O oh God, in the land, to put on the full armor of Christ, O oh God, even as you are encouraging us in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11 to 17, O oh God. Father, this morning, oh God, I'm bringing before you all our leaders. I'm bringing before you all the citizens of this land. I'm bringing before you the church in Kenya, oh God, that indeed, Lord, we will stand firm, oh God, as the word instructs us. We will put on the full armor of God, that indeed we will take our stand against the evils and the the evils in the land of God. We will take our stand against corruption. We will say no. As the leaders of this land, we will say no to all forms of corruption, of injustice, of greed, O oh Lord, that indeed we will take our stand against all these forms of evil, O oh God. That indeed with the belt of truth, knowing your word, O oh God, even as the church, we will stand for what is right. We will stand, O oh God, and shine your light in all areas in this nation, O oh God. We as the citizens, oh God, will make godly decisions and shun away evils that will cause this nation to be disunited. We will take up the breastplate of righteousness as the church. Let us shine the, the righteousness that you have clothed us with as the body of Christ so that those that are around us, oh God, all over the nation, oh God, will see your light and desire to live godly lives and make godly decisions that will cause this nation to be blessed and be called blessed and obtain favor in your eyes, O oh God. Father Lord, I thank you because, O oh God, we will put on the helmet of salvation even as the nation as as the church in this land oh god we will stand for the for the for the work of the cross oh god and in so doing shine a light in this nation become the hope of become, become the hope of the nation oh lord because indeed the church is the hope of the world and father lord i pray king of glory even for across all our 24 ministries, Ministry of Defense, Ministry of Health, Ministry of Education, Ministry of Lands, Ministry of Energy, Public Service, ICT, um, Water and Sanitation, infrastructure, infrastructure, Youth Affairs, just to name a few, across all these cabinet secretaries, oh Father, my God, first of all, I commit these leaders into your able hands, oh God, thanking you for the good work that they have done so far, oh God. And Father, Lord, this moment, oh God, because they are the leaders, my father, of the different ministries, my God, entrusted to them to steward, oh God, these different sectors, my father. I pray that you may give them wisdom, that they may take their stand, they may take their stand, oh God. When the day of evil comes, they will take their stand and fight for truth, fight for justice, fight for for what is right, O oh God, and what will benefit the citizens of this land, O oh God, called Kenya, O oh Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. Father Lord, we pray that King of glory, we will shun away all forms of injustice, corruption, O oh God, all, all forms of crime, all forms of impunity and hatred and disunity across all these ministries, O oh God, that our nation will thrive, that our nation will thrive, O oh God. We will put on the full armor of God, the full armor of Christ, and take our stand in the day of evil, O oh God. We will take our stand to stand for the right things to do, O oh God, to, to stand for the godly way, to stand for peace, to stand for unity, to stand for harmony, O oh God, in our land, King of glory. I pray that our leaders will take the stand, O oh God. We'll take the stand of justice. We'll take the stand of love will take the stand of unity, O oh God, and bring our people together, that we will be one, O oh God, 
that as citizens who will refuse to be disunited, we will refuse to be lured, oh God, to evil, oh God, to do things that will cause us to be disunited, that will cause things to destroy, that will uh, we will stand against, oh God, being lured, oh God, to do things, oh God, that pull us apart and tear away the moral fabric of this society, oh God. Help us to take our stand as leaders in this nation, as the citizens in this nation, as the church of Kenya, that we will take our stand when the day of evil comes. We will take our stand to stand on your word. We will take us your we will take our stand to stand against the evils and the crimes connect, um, committed against the citizens of this land, oh God. So we commit Kenya before you and we declare that Kenya belongs to you, oh God. That the plans that you have for Kenya are great for to prosper us and not to cause us harm, oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed, believing and trusting. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And I pray that we will continue to commit Kenya in the hands of God in prayer. I pray that this is the moment that we will take our stand, we will arise and shine in prayer and commit this nation and declare that this nation will stand we will be united, we will be peaceful, there will be harmony in this land, and Kenya will go far in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Yeah.